Hey guys, uh, today is Thursday, no, yeah, Thursday, September the 12th, uh, that may, hey, this is the 255th day of the year, which makes it day 255 on our Daily Bread 2013. Guys, I know most of you are probably having, um, uh, heart attacks right now, falling over, uh, <laughs> seeing somebody you thought you'd never see again, um, so I gotta say, guys, uh, it's good to be um, it's good to be making a video tonight. Um, I appreciate some of you guys. A couple of you guys have have you know emailed me, been getting in contact with me, you know about what's been going on. So a couple of you know that. Most of you probably don't. Um, but either way, it's good to be back, guys. I don't even know if I'm gonna do a a, a scripture reading tonight, or I may just you know do kind of a hey I'm back kind of deal. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, brother Richard in Seattle, man, uh, in Seattle, man, 57, actually, uh, he's been in contact with me more than anybody. And I've had a couple other people, but, um, as I told him and I've told everybody else, guys, uh, I've just had, a, I've had a lot going on. I've had a lot went wrong. I've had, uh, my computer went down, uh, this computer went down. That computer went down, and I'm pointing at my laptop behind me on the bed. My, and both my computers at work went down. Um, of course, the laptop at work was kind of the most important one. I mean, that's the one we use every day. You know, we have to make our money with. Uh, luckily, that one wasn't too, uh, too bad to fix. We had to put a keyboard in it. Uh, but it's one of those deals. It's got a cheap, cheesy webcam on it. Uh, you just, you can't see anything, you can't hear anything, you know, so I just, I, I never did, you know, I, could I technically brought that one up here and, and made videos? Probably. Uh, but I have borrowed computers. I borrowed a computer off of a boy and I got it up here and used it for a day or two, uh, kind of getting everything switched over and going on it and it crapped out. So, anyway, guys, I've had a lot of computer problems, to say the least. Uh, and I've not really had the money to do anything with it, to be honest about it. Uh, not not, not to be griping, not to be complaining. Um, but, you know, this has been the slowest summer that we've ever had, that I can remember. If we've had slower summers, I can't remember. Uh, you know, which, and I'm not going to lie, it's kind of got me scared about going into fall and winter, uh, you know, when... Because uh, at least always during the summer, usually we made enough money to where, you know, at least during the summer, we didn't have to worry about money too much, you know. You know, I mean, I ain't going to say we, we was filling our barrels full, but we at least made enough where we didn't have to really have to worry about paying the bills like normal. But this summer just wasn't that good. Was it horrible, horrible, horrible starving to death off summer? No. But it just wasn't as good as it should have been. So anyway, uh. To be honest, guys, I had some people leave, had some people quit watching, too, to be honest, uh, and that kind of just, I don't know. I, I've been doing this for a while now. You, Some of you guys will know that. Uh, I've been doing these scripture readings on YouTube. I don't know. This is, what is this, the third year, third or fourth year for doing it? Uh, and I've been on YouTube longer than that. You know, I actually started out on YouTube making motorcycle vlog videos, made a few, uh, you know, I make gun videos, that type of deal. So anyway, guys, I think I just got burnt out on it too. You know, like I said, between the, the having the computer problems, uh, a, lot, a lot of people, I, I could tell, kind of started blaming it on me having a girlfriend now. Um, honestly, that had nothing to do with it. Uh, just like right now, she's at work. Uh, she works so much and she's kind of got her family stuff. I see her once, maybe twice a week and that's it. Uh, you know, between the computer problems and like I said, guys, just getting tired of it. Just to be honest about it. I've been doing it for years. I just, I think I got tired of it. I got burnt out on it. I had some people that I, that were, you know, I had one friend that used to watch and, and he quit and course he just went in another direction and I'm not I mean I'm not even gonna get into that um, 
I had some people, you know, just kind of leave and quit watching. And to be honest, you know, you, that stuff bugs you. I mean, it bugs you. It bugs you just like as the pastor of a church. When if you have somebody leave the church, you know, for, uh, fortunately, I've not had to deal with that a whole lot, which it's a small church. Uh, but you know, I, our old pastor used to talk about that and tell us. He said, you know, every time somebody leaves, even if it's, you know, even if it's nothing personal, it's nothing against you, even if it's for a good reason, you still take it personal. So you know, I had a few people kind of, uh, you know, and they didn't, you know, come up and send me emails and say, hey, I'm going to quit watching. But you know, you notice when people quit watching. You know, you notice when people quit commenting, and then maybe you email them and say, hey, I've not seen you comment in a while, you know, what's going on, and they basically tell you, you know, well, I've not, I've just, you know, I've not been watch, I've not watched your videos in a while, or they tell you, well, I've not been on YouTube in a while, you know, and, you know, you just, you start to think, if nobody's watching, if nobody's getting anything out of this, what's the person doing, you know, I mean, I, I had several people, had some people overseas, uh, that used to watch my videos that, you know, kind of faded away. Uh, but, you know, the Lord just started convicting me that, you know, if if two or three people watch watch these or get something out of it, then it's worth doing, you know. And um, so, you know, a matter of fact, guys, right now, to show you how much the Lord was convicting me once I finally got my computer fixed, I've had it fixed for a couple weeks now. Uh, tonight, he just put on me, he said, you need to do it, you need to make a video. The season, no, not the season finale, the series finale, the last burn notice ever made is on TV right now. Last one ever made. I mean, it's tonight. Tonight's the series finale, and I've watched it since the beginning. And I have got it paused <laughs> to make this video. I said, I'm not doing The Lord has convicted me to do this. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So I'm doing it. So anyway, guys, I don't know how long I'm going to make this video. I don't know how YouTube's doing on the 15 minute deal anymore. I don't I don't know if I'm even allowed to, where I've not been making videos and not been monetizing videos. I don't know if I can still make longer videos or not. Uh, kind of an ironic thing that my, I got my YouTube checked the other day. Uh, and my YouTube check, my Google check, is actually what helped me fix my computer. <clears throat> so thank the Lord for that. But anyway, uh, I didn't even know I was still going to be getting any checks anymore, but some of my gun videos, some of my older videos still get quite a bit of views. So anyway, uh, what else? Anyway, like I was just saying, guys, I think I just got tired of it. I got burnt out on it, but hopefully I can be back now. Hopefully the, the computer will stay up and, and I'll be here, um, you know, uh, guys, and, and I don't deserve anything from you all. I don't deserve ask you for nothing but I do want to ask you to pray for us uh, dad's got a his knees have been bothering him my knees been bothering me I've got something wrong with my my right knee and I don't know what it is probably just yours are bending over being a mechanic uh, working on your knees working in the floorboards of cars uh, I've got a tooth that's that I had fixed and now that I've since I've had it fixed it's actually bothering me it wasn't bothering me until I had it fixed and they say there's nothing they can do except for pull it or do a root canal and it's a front tooth or it's a corner uh, canine tooth right there. I don't want to have it pulled and I don't want to have a root canal either one. So guys, I'm going to leave it, leave it on the Lord. I'm going to pray that the Lord will fix it. So you guys pray for that. Uh, just pray guys that our business will pick up. Pray that uh, I've got that dirt bike that I've been trying to sell all summer and I have one person interested in it from West Virginia. I cut the price down a little bit, and they were supposed to come by, and I never did see them. So I'm going to actually re, uh, redo it on Craigslist tonight. Uh, so guys, just pray for that stuff for us. I do appreciate it. Uh, anyway, guys, I guess that's about it. I don't remember where we're at. Um, like I said, guys, I'm not I'm not going to – I don't think I'm going to read any scripture tonight. Um well, I don't know. I've got my sword pulled up, so I guess I could. Genesis chapter 9, I, th I, I don't know if that's where we was at or not. That's where my sword was, was still on, so I think that's where it's at. Genesis chapter 9, verse 1. Here, guys, we'll read a few verses anyway. Anytime you read God's Word, it does not come back void, so we're going to get a blessing out of it. So anyway, Genesis 9, 1. 
It says, And God blessed Noah and his sons, and said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth. And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth, and upon every fowl of the air, and upon all that moveth upon the earth, and upon all the fishes of the sea, into your hands are they delivered. See, that tells us that we are to have dominion over the animals and of the earth, not the other way around. See, that's what's happened to all the people today, and that's what's wrong with this earth and the whole green movement, and let's worship, the, let's worship animals, let's worship the planet, and let's not care about people. We can see where that's got us, can't we? Every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you. Even as the green herb have I given you all things. But flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall ye not eat. And sure your, blo your blood of your lives will I require, at the hand of every beast will I require it, and at the hand of every man, at the hand of every man's brother, will I require the life of man. Whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed, for the image of God made he man. He's basically telling us here, guys, that we can kill animals, but you're not to kill a person. You're not to eat a person. You're not to kill a person for anything. If you kill somebody, then somebody will kill you, basically. Guys, that's where we're going to stop, because like I said... Uh, this video has just now hit over 11 minutes. I don't know if YouTube, I don't know how long I can upload anymore for. So right there, we stopped at verse 7. If this lets me upload this, then we'll start back tomorrow night. Guys, I love you all. I'm glad to be back. Can't wait to, uh, I'm looking forward to your comments, what I'm trying to say, guys. Good Lord willing, I'll be back here tomorrow night, guys. Until I see you all again. Good night, and God bless.